Hey, what's up? It's Mr. Reed, and today you're going to learn how to create and animate an anamorphic crop in Adobe Premiere. So let's get to it. An anamorphic crop simply modifies your movie into a widescreen format, which makes your movie feel more cinematic. We can achieve the anamorphic crop in Adobe Premiere by using two separate techniques. The first and easiest technique is to simply create a custom sequence. If you are shooting high definition footage, 1920 by 1080, then you will want to create a custom sequence that is 1920 by 803. And that's it. But wait, where in the world are we getting these numbers from? Well, let's see. We know that high definition contains a pixel aspect ratio of 16 to 9, which is also equivalent to 1.78 to 1. This simply means that there are 1.78 pixels across for every one pixel up and down. Now what makes the anamorphic crop so special is that it uses a 2.39 to 1 pixel aspect ratio. So when we do our conversion, we will keep the same width as before and use the cross products of equivalent fractions to determine the new height. So the anamorphic HD footage will have a new height of 803 pixels. Again, you can easily create a sequence with these new dimensions to achieve the anamorphic look, or you can try out this second technique. Let's say you want to create a standard 16 by nine sequence and add those iconic black bars. So how do we do it? Well, just create an adjustment layer, add the crop effect and set the top and bottom to 13%. What's cool about this technique is that you can animate the anamorphic look into your sequence by making a couple of keyframes go from 0% to 13%. Well, I hope this helps. I'll see you next time.